Hello and welcome to day three of our trip in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This is the main strip with tons of activities for kids. They even have a crime museum that houses OJ's Bronco and Ted Bundy's VW Bug. They have mini golf, go-karts, alpine coasters, and tons of arcades and different rides down this strip with dinner shows as well. So we're going to go ahead to breakfast first. For breakfast at the Frizzle Chicken Farmhouse Cafe. It's supposed to be a cute breakfast brunch place with singing chickens. So we're gonna wait in line. It's a 15 minute wait for breakfast today. So I got my sweet tea, and Aiden's got his milk and lots of kids in here. So this is what it looks like inside. The chickens at the top sing every so often and they have funny names like Hen Stefani. Aiden got the kids bear pancakes. That's cute. Side <laughs> a sausage. I got the breakfast special with the eggs. Home fries, bacon, and Belgian waffle. We're done eating at the Frizzle Chicken Farmhouse Cafe. We're outside in the parking lot. We're about to head to Dollywood again for our second day. We had two day passes. And just some thoughts on it. I, I like the breakfast food. It's just simple country style breakfast food. Although the waffle was a little bit stale. Um, but I thought it was a pretty good deal for um, a combo breakfast with your waffle, uh, eggs your way, a meat and home fries. You don't have to get the waffle, there's other choices. You can get biscuits and gravy, pancakes, or other things for that other part of the meal. But the eggs and the bacon and the home fries come with it. The kids' pancake was cute, and my son enjoyed it and got a side of sausage, and that was really tasty as well. So off to Dollywood we go. We're back in Dollywood where everyone's welcome except Jolene. I like the decorations in here, and it was voted the most beautiful amusement park in America. This is the Thunderhead coaster, and I'm going to ride it, damn it. This is the Spotlight Bakery and we're gonna grab a snack. They offer all kinds of baked goods and Dollywood's famous cinnamon bread if you're looking for that. So we got a brownie and some drinks. We're gonna sit down and enjoy. This is what the brownie looked like inside. And it was nice and moist and very fudgy, very yummy. If you're not one for rides, there's tons of stores and snacks here. There's ice cream, cotton candy, funnel cakes, and there's all kinds of snacks you'd crave for. 
Here's a famous Red's Drive-In that sells burgers and hot dogs and fries. It's right along this nice creek. This is Aunt Granny's. It actually was voted number one restaurant in a theme park and actually beat out Disney. There are tons of stalls and sit-down restaurants everywhere in the park if you're ever hungry. And if you're looking for souvenirs to take home, come to the Southern Pantry. They've got lots of goods to take home. Here's some specialty coffees here. And there's all kind of food items to take home if you want to try them. There's some barbecue sauce, some dressing, seasonings, and some honey. Here's some syrups. I'd like to take all of it home, but it's gonna be a packed suitcase. Here's some candies, some pork rinds, jerky. That's pretty. That. So we finally made it here to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, just for a little bit before dinner. It was the other side near Townsend, Tennessee, which is near Pigeon Forge, so it's not going through Gatlinburg. We are at the Little Greenbrier School. As you can see, it's a little small log structure built in 1882, which housed the school for children from nearby families. And there it is, an old cabin. And it's very peaceful. We're the only people here. It's about 6.30 p.m. If you follow this trail, it goes to the Walker Sisters place, which is the last homes and cabins in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And when they passed away, the cabins were there. There's a little bug that keeps coming in my camera. But... People lived here in the park before it became a national park, and they were allowed to still live here. It's a pretty big cabin. Let's take a look inside. Wow, it really smells super old and kind of a nice wood smell. Pretty cool crafts craftsmanship. Here's the blackboard, which is pretty much just wood painted black because you see the pieces between. People write all their stuff. A little bench and a desk. Almost looks like a chapel, actually. But they have these benches that become tables for the other students behind them. And they had the glass window panes still here. Pretty cool. And they, I guess, left the windows open. Over here goes out to the forest. Beautiful. Well, I thought this fence was just a little portion of it. It's got the American flag, but it's a graveyard with really little stones. And here's the Walker family, which is what we're going to try to do tomorrow and see the Walker sisters cabins. This looks like a child's graveyard because they're all infants and died around the same year. Or this one died five years after birth. This is interesting. Mr. William Ogle. He's um, Gatlinburg's founding first family and cut logs for the Little Greenbrier Schoolhouse right there. All right, we're going to head to Bustin Butts Barbecue for dinner, and it's in Sevierville, so we're going to head on over there. Oh. 
Okay, we're here, and you just stop here at like a drive through and right next door is a farmer's market with produce, and you can buy all kinds of fruits and veggies. And here's the menu. You just give the guy your order. All right, today's dinner is from Bustin' Butts Barbecue, and I couldn't really film the front because it's really strange to me, but I thought it was efficient. When you drive up, they're greeted by this lovely gentleman, very, very nice southern charm, tells you to drive around the building, and it's almost like a drive through unless you want to eat there, and you sit there where I was sitting, and I was trying to film from the car, and he gives you the menu and you order, and he brings up your order. You don't even leave your car. Right next door was a market with watermelons and fresh strawberries, corn, and pineapple being sold, but we got the brisket meal, and uh, it comes with two sides, got potato salad, some beans, and a roll. You get a drink, got ourselves a Coke. There's other products if you want. We also got a side of um, slab of ribs. This is a half rack of ribs. Comes with sauce, sweet, and I believe this is regular. And then you get some, some more sauce for your brisket. So let's taste it. All right, I'm gonna start off with the ribs. We took this home to our cabin. All right, with some sauce. Mmm. Just falls off the bone, but still has a nice bite to it. It's got a good smoky flavor, but it's different to me. I want to say it's kind of like oak or a different kind of wood, but very delicious. It has a really nice pink smoke ring, just smoky and tender. The sauce isn't too sweet. It's quite tangy, but it's good. First Tennessee barbecue and the ribs are delicious and such a generous portion. This is huge. Okay, I don't know what the difference is because one has the sweet, the S, but this one didn't have a marking on it and this one it was for the brisket. So let's try the brisket. It's already shredded. Dip it in the sauce. Mmm, real soft and good smoky flavor again. And I don't know what kind of wood they're using, but it's delicious. Like, I, I'm thinking it's oak. Definitely not a fruit wood. They're kind of in the middle of nowhere off of a highway and you can't miss them because they have the big barbecue flag signs in Sevierville. So go check them out, Bustin' Butts Barbecue. You can see um, the guy uh, doing the pits. I was filming him. So he was constantly refilling and checking on the fire. The brisket is delicious, tender, and this is awesome. What an awesome dinner. The barbecue sauce for the brisket kind of tastes the same, but not as tangy. It's a little bit more on the balanced side, not too sweet either. The sides we got were the potato salad. Looks kind of like mustard based, a little yellow. Let's try it out. It also has a smoked flavor too. So I don't know if they smoked the potatoes or what, but it's got a little bit of relish and mustard and mayo. And if you're looking at the close-up shots I did of the sides, it's they're not stingy. I actually halved it with my son, so he's eating right now because he's hungry. So that's why it looks like it's low, but it was full to the brim. So let's try the beans. Typical baked beans, very tender. More um, of a molasses taste and not so much just sugar. Actually a good, nice balanced either molasses or maple syrup type taste. Very delicious. Got some awesome beans. So for all that, um, with the two sides, a roll, brisket, and a Coke with a whole half slab of spare ribs, it looks like. They're not baby back ribs, so they're huge. It was $38. So I thought it was a deal for slow-cooked barbecue. That's a deal. A lot of time and energy goes into it. And this is our first taste of uh, Tennessee barbecue. Not sure if there's a difference between Memphis or not because we're in Eastern Tennessee, but I like it so far. It's delicious. I, I am enjoying it. And so one more thing before we go, we got Dollywood famous cinnamon bread. This is her cinnamon bread. You can get her at her um, theme park. Another secret is if the line is too long, you can go to where we went to. It's right in the front of the entrance or before you exit because you don't want to buy it while you're 
going around. It's at the Spotlight Bakery. Usually you go to the grist mill and buy her bread there. But if it's busy on both sides, which it wasn't today, um, you can also, as a tip, go to her Dream More Resort and go inside. You don't have to be a guest. They have a bakery in there and it's usually not crowded and you can get the bread there. Because usually there's a very long line for this. So I want to see what the hype's about and I'm going to try her cinnamon bread for dessert. So it comes with uh, some icing. Just going to cut a small piece just to taste. So the thing about it is you must eat it warm and it's still warm from the park. Otherwise, if you let it sit, it's not as good as it should be. They do hand it to you. It's piping hot. And if you don't have the time, find an oven or a toaster oven and just warm it, but don't toast it too hard. I put some icing on it. Soft inside. Oh, look at that soft bread. It's just coated with that sugary cinnamon. And then you got this to dip more icing, more diabetes. So good. I can see why. There's hype about Dolly Parton's cinnamon bread. This is delicious, and I'm glad it wasn't just a gimmick. I would highly recommend getting a loaf. It was $9.99 at uh, any of those bakeries, the Grist Mill Spotlight Bakery right in the front, or go to her Dream More Resort and get it there, which is right next to Dollywood, so it's not much of a drive from Dollywood. So that's pretty much our day, full day. It's already almost 8 p.m., and I'm just gonna go relax, and tomorrow's another big day where we're gonna go back into the main area of uh, the Sm Great Smoky Mountain National Park, and then also look around Gatlinburg, and we have a reservation at a awesome seafood restaurant, supposedly, and I'm excited to try it, so I'll see you on the next episode. Okay, I lied. My son really wanted me to come here. It's the toy box mini golf place, one of many mini golf places here in Pigeon Forge. It's really actually cute themed. Every little station or hole has different themes. And it is 9 p.m., but there are still people here. So after this, I'm going to bed.